Good morning, everyone. Low Wolf Rick here. It is a Monday morning here in Las Vegas, right here on the Las Vegas Strip. See some cars driving by here. It is 37 degrees this morning with a projected high of 56. Yeah, we're going to just do a little walk down the strip here and uh, see if there's anybody out and about here on this brisk Monday morning. Hope everybody had a great weekend. Hope the weather was good where you're at. I know we had some uh, tragedy weather in uh, Kentucky and, and some other parts of the, of the uh, nation. My condolences out to uh, all the people back there. And I'm from Oklahoma, so I know how deadly those tornadoes can be. It's uh, it's not a good, uh, not a good thing. We'll keep uh, keep everyone back in there at our prayers. We wrapped up the uh, National Finals Rodeo here this weekend. And there were 10 sessions, 10 events, and they said the attendance was 170,000, which averages uh, right at about 17,000 an event. So congratulations to the uh, NFR and their attendance record and and we're looking forward to next year. As for this week here in Las Vegas, it's, uh, I think it's going to be a slow week here. It uh, normally is after the rodeo. We get uh, this week and next week will be pretty slow. There's that raising canes. You can see they're still working inside there. But it depends what you're looking for. If you're looking for you know, lots of people, lots of fun, lots of excitement, then this isn't really a good time to come. If you're looking for deals, looking for cheaper hotel rooms, uh, maybe some little more uh, food uh, uh, deals, then it's a perfect time to come. You know, it just depends what your uh, you know, the level of what you want here. But a long gear up, it's like a long um, come to head. It's like for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. I know in the past, uh, New Year's Day, or New Year's, I'm sorry, New Year's Eve would always draw, they said, over 300,000 people onto the strip where, you know, they would uh, all kind of go through and, and relax and be out on the strip it's like watch the fireworks display and count down for the uh, count down to the new year but this year may be a little bit busier actually uh, you know for Thanksgiving this year Thanksgiving weekend there was over 300,000 uh, tourists and visitors that came to Las Vegas so I'm wondering if uh, you know, since New Year's Eve is one of the big ones as far as head counts, might be a little bit busier.
line here at Giddy's. See, they're advertising a turkey and dressing special. Just in time for Christmas, I guess, huh? Chicken and waffles look pretty good here at the Hard Rock Cafe. Hello, Mr. Weebly Wobbly Man. Other than the rodeo, there wasn't much, uh, much else that was actually going on this weekend either. And we had NFL games, so the sports books were all filled up. Of course, the rodeo brought in, you know, like I said, they had a record attendance, so that brought in a ton of people to fill up for the weekend. And if you saw the video I posted on Saturday night, the casinos were packed with people watching the, uh, watching the rodeo. So everybody seemed to be having a good time, which is always a good thing. One of our uh, subscribers, uh, she came to Vegas about a week ago and had a really bad experience. She hasn't told us which hotel it is uh, that she stayed in, though, but uh, she said the, the hotel was... Uh, it was a bad experience. It just really ruined the whole vacation for him. So that was really a shame to hear. brave souls out and about walking around today. Look at that, that number hasn't changed in a little while. I'll be alert. Take a look down this alleyway here. Now tomorrow they're talking about Las Vegas 100% uh, chance of rain is what it says on weather.com 100% and it's supposed to be a little breezy too and the high is supposed to be like 49 tomorrow so 
we got a storm front moving through. Tomorrow's supposed to be the big day uh, when the rain hits. And then uh, Wednesday and Thursday, there's still a slight chance of rain also for those three days. But the temperature high is supposed to be, uh, like I said, tomorrow's 49. And then Wednesday and Thursday is supposed to be about 50, 50, 50 to 52. So. Could be an interesting, uh, interesting next few days here in Vegas. Just as far as the uh, cold weather and rain. So we'll keep a launch out. It's like on the uh, mountains also. See if we finally get some snow like up there. You know, the other day it's like uh, Denver, Colorado finally just got uh, some snow, which is late for Denver. You know, it's been a few years since like for Denver will actually get uh, have snow on the ground uh, about the end of October. So things aren't boding good for the uh, western part of the United States as far as moisture. You know, we keep seeing on the news, uh, you know, the level of Lake Mead and everything and you know, the politicians uh, reallocating and, you know, all kinds of stuff. See over at the Cosmopolitan, their December 31st show to ring in the new year is Maroon 5. The sugar factory here, and it just moved into this location. It's a, it's a big location, and uh, they were actually in uh, uh, Fashion Show Mall, and that was a lot smaller location of what this one is. So they moved out of the Fashion Show Mall and moved here to this location, and the location that's see at the Fashion Show Mall that's sitting empty right now. Will be a new uh, restaurant and bar that will be uh, uh, for Emmett Smith, the Dallas Cowboys great Emmett Smith, uh, called Emmett's Place, and it's a two-level, two-level operation. For the first level will be a uh, uh, red the restaurant. The second level will be a bar and uh, 
think a little nightclub area uh, for the evening time. And they'll also have, uh, uh, I think, quite a bit of uh, Emmett Smith memorabilia there also. Um, that should be interesting, should be a lot of fun. We have him, we have uh, Drew Brees opening a bar or restaurant inside of Harris. And he'll be opening that up. It's like where uh, Toby Keith's, uh, I love this bar and grill used to be. They closed down last year and never reopened. And that's where Drew Brees is gonna be. Uh, both those restaurants will be opening next year. You look down the north end of the strip there. All right, everybody, I think that's gonna do it for today's video. So I can try to shake some of this coldness off over here. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We'd greatly appreciate that. Keep you in the loop of everything that's going on. And to our subscribers, thank you very much. We greatly appreciate y'all and the support that you give us. And to everybody that watches our videos, thank you very, very much. All right, everybody, you take care, stay healthy, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.